Every spring, or at least every spring in a normal school year, two weeks are set aside for the holy ritual of standardized testing, where students are packed into rooms for 45, 60, 90 minutes and asked to select correct answers. And this, supposedly, provides an accurate measurement of where you stand, what your academic standing is. Are you proficient? <laughs> Below proficient? Are you, are you a good test taker? Or are you just having a bad day? You know, it's a snapshot in your life. And enormous value is placed on these standardized tests. Everyone has their own opinion of this. I, I do very well. What back in high school, I got into college because I can ace standardized tests. I had a 2.46 GPA and got into Cal Poly in an impacted architecture program because I aced the college entrance exam. It's just so ridiculous. And I know some kids have test anxiety. My daughter does. You know, she's an excellent student. She's getting her graduate degree. She's getting paid to get her graduate degree. Full scholarship and a stipend uh, because the school wanted her. <laughs> but she bombed her exam, her standardized test for getting into graduate school. They placed more value on, on her than a test. That's pretty rare. But it's becoming more and more common because... Well, before I go down that rabbit hole, let me just say, it was a break. We were taking a 10-minute break uh, in the middle of standardized testing. We were standing outside a classroom. I was helping proctor the exam with two other teachers, and it was one of those classrooms that has a door that leads outside. How wonderful is that? I've always been inside the school. Um, but... We're standing there and we're discussing things and one of the teachers thinks standardized testings are a gift from God because it lets her measure exactly where the students stand, what they know. Oh my goodness. Um, anyway, we talked about oh, how school could be improved, how could, how could we make it more engaging and, all, and we came to no consensus, no agreement. And as it was time to go back into the classroom, I happened to glance down and this was scrawled at our feet, right between us. There's three of us standing in a circle talking, and I started cracking up. And they both look at me, and I pointed, and they both looked down and looked back at me like, what? <laughs> I've been saying school sucks since I was in high school. Uh, I presented at Adobe. Well, I sat on a panel in front of an audience that discussed the positive power of failure, you know, taking questions from the audience and just having a discussion. And school sucks was my motto. That's what I talked about and all the ways that it does and all the ways I've tried to, to change things. And anyway, the three of us walked back into the room and I handed out pencils or whatever menial task I was asked to do and took my seat in the back and flipped open my computer. And it's not enough to complain. You have to do something about it. If you think there's something wrong with whatever, well, don't just complain. Anyone can be brilliantly negative. Do something about it. So that's what the MacLab way is all about trying to approach this from a different angle. Is it perfect? No. What I do sucks sometimes too, but I'm trying to move things in a direction where students have more say in their, in how they learn and to some degree what they learn. And I know you have to learn how to add, subtract, and divide, and multiply. And most of you have forgotten that and only use a calculator to do it. Those are daily skills you'll use for the rest of your life. Algebraic equations, derivatives, uh, the, those are skill sets that are needed in specific 
careers. Incredibly valuable. In my life, I've never used any of that. But adding, subtraction, multiplying, and dividing, you know, basic fractions, sure. I use that all the time. Bottom line, we run Goldilocks education where it's too slow for some kids, it's too fast for other kids, and it's just right for a couple. How do you feel about that? Am I full of it? Is this true? Should we try this? Or should we leave it just how it is? I want to know how you feel. Respond in the fields below and let me know. What are your feelings? And if you think school sucks, it's not enough to complain. Tell me how we could fix it, what we could do better. Offer those explanations. And if you think it's perfect, I want to hear why. I want to hear how. And that's just the way it is, is the sorriest, most pitiful answer in history. Because that's just saying you have no power. You have no say. And yeah, you're a student. Here's a teacher asking you to have a say. Let me know.